for the, the ideas. Um, we talk a lot about disconnection and it comes up all the time and it's just so life affirming for me because I'm just talking about connection, I'm talking about courage and I'm talking about compassion all of the time because that's the principles that I want for Women With Attitude and for all of you in the community to keep that top of mind. We need to be more of that to each other. We then had a bit of a discussion in the break, just in our own area in Penrith, and a nurse shared that in 30 years of her profession, she's had more bullying and um, nasty, narcissistic and nasty behaviour by women in her workplace than she ever has with from men. And that makes me really sad because I know that it exists. I know many of you have been bullied. I know I've even been bullied just a few years ago at the, at the sports club, so, um, I recognise that we have to do better in terms of our compassion with each other. The compassion and the patience. I mean, you don't have to agree with everybody. You don't even have to like everybody. But, you know, there's that undercurrent of sisterhood. Just respect them for where they are at. And how can I support the cause? Um, the other things I'm looking at my notes as well is that the diversity in leadership, I love this. And Sherry said, why are we going for, you know, 10% or 20% or 35% in Parliament? Let's just go for 50%. Like, why not? That um, there needs to be 50, like, you know, it needs to be 50% because the topic, or the, sorry, not the topic, the theme of this year is parity, right? So um, if, if we're going to go for it, let's go 50%. And what that means is that men uh, in those large leadership roles and in, in parliament will need to step away and that was obviously kind of tricky because we want to give them an option as well. Men came up quite a bit in terms of parenting. You know, um, we need to stop looking at parenting as being women and children but being men and women as the parents and, you know, not the looking after the woman and then the men, the man helps out that men are equally um, want to be a part of a child's life but it's also the equal responsibility and so their whole language and social structures around parenting really really needs to be looked at. Um, so it was really it was a really interesting discussion you know um, we we've come far but there's still so much to to learn. One of the things that uh, came up for me is that there's 175 women who have lost their lives since January 2014 to domestic violence and that's just in this country in Australia. But more importantly, um, the domestic violence problem is the other things that aren't being reported and the reasons why. So women have a fear of um, reporting domestic violence. They, they fear what people will think of them or that, and their choices. They fear greatly that their children could be taken away or that they might lose some sort of rights or liberties or they may not have anywhere to live. They have fear of their lives because if they do speak out, they may lose their life or um, the life of their children. There's just some of the reasons why they don't. And that just makes me so incredibly sad that there's something wrong in our society if a woman or a person, a human being, can't feel that they can reach out and um, tell someone or ask somebody for help. 175 women in Australia is bad enough and who knows what the figure would be. There would be figures, I don't have them on me today, but there would be a higher figure of you know, women in other countries who are being raped and vilified and denied education. So on this International Women's Day, whilst we will talk about leadership and we will celebrate being women and talk about some of the amazing things that women do, because I'd like to have a positive spin on it, not for one second am I not thinking about all of the women who don't have those particular opportunities and that we need to keep speaking up and we need to keep fighting for that. So this is a really important day because all around the world tomorrow on the 8th of March, all over the world, this is a day that is recognised um, for women to stop and celebrate and there will be groups of women celebrating all over the world. So. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for um, our morning tea at Springwood or our breakfast on um, with a leadership panel on Thursday morning and happy Monday.